Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to measure the normalized ROI of a lot of different cryptocurrencies as measured from March 13th, 2020. So we're basically looking at the ROI as measured from the depths of despair. So when we were at the lowest, how far have we come? This can help us identifying, help us in, in trying to identify winners and losers, which ones are outperforming the market, which ones are not. When I talk about the market, I'm referring to Bitcoin. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. So again, this shows the normalized ROI from March 13th, 2020 on a logarithmic scale versus time. This is Bitcoin. The main four coins we talk about on the channel, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, and ADA. We also talk about Polkadot, but it doesn't have that much of a history. So I normally leave it out when we talk about, when we look at, you know, different different data, type, different measurements we can take because it just doesn't have much history. So as measured from the bottom on March 20th, where have we come? Do we have justification in holding Bella or Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, and ADA? And I would say the answer is yes. Ethereum has outperformed Bitcoin fairly consistently, which is exactly what we want to see. Right? This is exactly what we would expect. If Ethereum was not outperforming Bitcoin, then it would it would beg the question, why the hell do we hold it? But it is outperforming and we're paying with that outperformance with more units of risk because when you know and you feel that risk, right? The volatility when Bitcoin moves down, Ethereum tends to move down more. So we're paying for that extra ROI with more units of risk. Now I would argue that in order to, to justify holding a lot of altcoins, they need to outperform Ethereum. So is is link, are Link and ADA outperforming it? Well, here's Link. You can see that Link is more or less consistently outperforming Ethereum. ADA is also more or less consistently outperforming Ethereum. So we have Bella, our four coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, and ADA. Ethereum's outperforming Bitcoin, and Link and ADA are outperforming Ethereum, and of course, by association, uh, Bitcoin as well. So these are the reasons I hold these coins. We've been, obviously we've been talking about them since 2019 when I started the channel, but you can see as measured from the depths of despair, all four of these coins have done well. Everything besides Bitcoin has outperformed Bitcoin and every other coin besides Bitcoin and Ethereum has outperformed both of those. So further justification why these four coins I think do make a powerful portfolio. Again, you can always substitute your own coin uh, for one of these, but just make sure you're, you're, you have a winner and you're not, you know, riding a donkey for years and years and years. Now, let's be fair. Let's look at some other coins. Here's Litecoin. You guys know my thoughts on Litecoin. I think it's more or less better to purchase it once Litecoin, once Bitcoin gets to the prior all-time high. And even then it's a maybe. Uh, we've often contended that it can trend up when the whole market trends up. Um, just like it has recently, this tends to bring out, you know, a lot of comments on the channels. Or on my channel saying, you know, I bet you wish you held Litecoin. And again, my response is, you know, I'm, I'm, happy, for, I'm happy for you guys if you're making money. But it's underperformed Bitcoin as measured from the depths of despair. So it calls into question the justification, it, the justification for holding it over the long term. I mean, if you, if you just came in and purchased it here and sold it here, that's one thing. But if you've been sitting on it since March and it still has underperformed Bitcoin, it can't even outperform Ethereum, much less Link and ADA. Again, opportunity cost, right? Opportunity cost, opportunity cost, opportunity cost. You also have XRP, which for the longest time was underperforming Bitcoin and only recently has started outperforming it. We'll see if this holds. Again, I've said, as I said with Litecoin and XRP, um, I, I would not hold them before Bitcoin gets to the prior all-time high, but I can understand the reason why people might want to speculate on them before that happens. So you can see XRP has already made the move. As I've said before, I personally would not get them until Bitcoin gets to the prior all-time high. But if you want to speculate on them and speculate in the sense that you're you're speculating on the fact or the not the fact, you're speculating on the idea that that Bitcoin will get to a sustainable all-time high in the not for in the not so distant future, then I can understand the, the reasoning behind potentially scooping up some some XRP and Litecoin. Again, I'm not doing it. It doesn't mean I think it's necessarily the worst idea in the world. It's it's a much better idea than it was a year ago, which we said a year ago it would have been a bad idea. And you can see over the last year, it would have been a bad idea. And it only recently became a somewhat plausible idea until recently now that Bitcoin is close to the prior all-time high. But again, it's a, it's a huge risk to take because what if Bitcoin does not get to a sustainable all-time high and crashes back down to the 20 week? So again, there's no free lunch. If it's a risk you can take, you don't have to take it. It's up to you. Again, this is not financial advice. I just stick with the coins that consistently outperform, not the ones I have to wait three years to see a 30% pump or a 100% pump 
and then go brag about it to everyone who is making money the last three years. Um, here's XTZ. So again, unfortunately, I know a lot of you guys like it. Uh, as measured from the depths of despair in March, not a whole lot of justification for holding it, frankly speking, right? It, it, it's not even come close to, to outperforming Bitcoin. EOS, again, pretty lackluster performance. Same thing with Dash and NEO. Uh, XLM has actually done pretty well. So, and, and some of it has come recently, but you can see pretty consistently it was above Bitcoin. Only recently with Bitcoin's run did it dip below. And now it's come back above. So again, I don't hold XLM. But if you do hold it, I, I, I would say, you know what, there is some justification for holding it because it is outperforming Bitcoin and it has been outperforming Ethereum for a lot of it, not all of it, but a decent amount of time. It's also outperformed Ethereum, obviously not over here. Um, I prefer my altcoins to outperform Ethereum, hence Link and ADA, as I've been talking about for a long time. XLM is, is, a, is, a, is a potential horse that I could see some people wanting to, to ride. Adam, it's okay. You know, you get more risk than Bitcoin, but you're you're basically getting the same return as measured today. So I could take I would I would say take it or leave it. Again, I don't own it, but take it or leave it in my opinion. V chain. We had one standalone video on V chain. Um, I do think I will talk more about this project in the future. It has done pretty well. It's it's right up there with with Lincoln Ada, and it has actually outperformed Ethereum for basically the entire time as well. So V chain is definitely one on my radar. Uh, if I had to pick a project besides Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, ADA, and Polkadot, it might, there's, I, I would say, I don't want to say definitively it would be VeChain, but depending on what the risk level is at the time on VeChain, how it looks against Bitcoin, how it looks against Ethereum, I could see myself theoretically picking up some, some, some VeChain at some point during the market cycle. It does seem to so far be a pretty good horse to ride. Okay. Um, Tron, it's more okay. Uh, again, I know a lot of you guys have some feelings about Tron. Again, I try to keep the feelings out of it. I just look at the data. I don't really care about what the feelings say, but you can see that it is pretty much given the same return as Bitcoin while also providing higher risk. Um, so if we if we just isolate the ones that have pretty much outperformed Bitcoin by more than just like half a percent or something, we can see that it's been as measured from the depths of despair. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, and ADA, these are the main four that I hold. XRP up until recently was not, but recently it has come above it. So we're not going to cherry pick. We're going to say, you know what, as measured today, it has outperformed Bitcoin. Um, but you would have spent the most of the time underperforming Bitcoin. And and again, you could argue that it would have been better to hold Bitcoin until Bitcoin got close to the prior all time high and then scooped up some XRP in, in lieu of the speculation that Bitcoin would get to the prior all time high. Again, I know some of you guys are doing this. And hopefully it's worked out for you guys. I mean, I want you guys to make money. I don't care if it's on a coin that I don't hold, right? I don't care. Uh, let's all make money. We all want to do the same thing. We don't need to have these, um, you know, these these different uh, types of, uh, you know, he versus, you know, this guy versus that guy. We all, we all just want to make money. Obviously, it's a zero-sum game. Um, but at the end of the day... Uh, if, if we're all here at this point during the market cycle, I would say we're all fairly early in terms of the grand scheme of market cycle. I think there's a good chance that if you're here now, you have a decent chance of making a decent amount of money over the next few years. So to some degree, we're all in this together um, and, and let's make some money. Uh, XLM outperformed and VeChain outperformed. So Again, these are the winners out of the ones I chose. Obviously, I, I just picked some. I'm sure there's going to be some out there that I didn't pick that have outperformed some of these. But again, these were the ones I chose. And out of the ones I just randomly chose that are more or less in the top 25 or so, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, and ADA. So Ethereum, Link, and ADA have outperformed Bitcoin. These are the main four I hold. XRP, XLM, and VeChain have outperformed Bitcoin as well as measured today. Uh, XRP only until recently, but XLM only until recently as well. VeChain pretty consistently. So for me, I like to look for consistency, not something I have to sit on for three years and then see a pump, right? I, I look for, I, I prefer consistency. And so that's why I primarily focus on these coins as, as we've talked about since 2019. Now I understand coins like ADA had a pretty nasty correction against Bitcoin. And I've often contended that ADA had no, had no business being valued at over a dollar in 2017, 2018, right? It just simply didn't. Um, but I, I don't think that should necessarily cloud your judgment on where it could go. And that's why as measured from when I started the channel in 2019, I think this was a fairly attractive investment from a risk 
a risk adjusted returns point of view. So if you guys like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel. We also have the premium list. The Black Friday sale is going to go on for about one more week. So if you wanna get locked in to the lower rate, make sure you sign up for that sooner rather than later. Uh, and you can lock it in perpetually as long as you don't cancel. Again, we don't have any, we don't have any paid promotions. We don't have any um, AdSense enabled. We don't have any um, affiliate links. Again, it's just the premium list where I provide more of this stuff. So if you guys like this stuff, the premium list just simply has more of it. So that's the way I monetize the channel. Um, and then uh, again, you get access to the risk dashboard, which is what I use to trade a weekly premium video, a weekly premium report, a Telegram alerts channel, a Telegram chat room, trading view indicators, a dynamic DCA selling dashboard. You get access to a whole lot of stuff. You also unlock access to all the prior reports and videos by subscribing. So I would encourage you guys to subscribe if you're looking for a community to, you know, to write out this market cycle from a more data science perspective. Um, so make sure you check it out. You have one more week or so to, I don't have an exact date yet, but about one more week before I will stop the Black Friday um, deal. So check it out. And at the very least, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also turn on your notifications to be notified of future videos. We like to focus on, on data, what the, does the data say, and, and leave, you know, leave emotions at the door. So make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the content and I will see you next time. Bye.